with the myth, if you do myth mounted myth capes, you get more XP per day, and it's about half the price as of doing mahoganies. I kind of want to get the logs for 99 construction bank. Like, I'm not going to do 99 construction, and I'm probably not going to make the planks for a very long time, but I kind of want to just get the logs, and then once they've got them and they're in my bank, I never need to worry about it again. 81 agility slowly making my way towards Ardy Elite Diaries. Unless my maths is wrong, once these all ferment or do whatever the hell wines do, there we go, 90 cooking, 100k XP drop, feels pretty cool. Alright, I've got myself some boosts, and yeah, I'm gonna give it a, 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 a shot, sorry. Uh, I've got the runite bar just in case I get the smithing boost, but I don't think I'll be able to make it if I get the rune crafting boost, so that's a bit of a shame. I also can't put the pie together until I have uh, 95 cooking. Uh, which I didn't think about, but yeah. I brought baked pie, so I have a 100% chance of cooking it. And let's get... Plus five. Right, okay. Strawberry first. Watermelon. Cooking apple. Baked pie. Nice. Cool. That's, that's, that's the, uh, the hardest one to do. The rest of them are, the boosts aren't as big, so... Now that we've got that, it's a bit easier. Let's head over to the anvil and see if we can act. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Let's head over to the anvil and see if we can get the, uh, the boost for that as well. And as long as we get some... Oh, we only got two. That was close. But yeah, we now have a, a enough, a enough nugs to buy myself the gem bag. Nice. I noticed I was really close to a thieving level, so I just came over to this guy over here to grab it. There we go, 76 feet. Thieving. Alright, so I decided I didn't want a cash stack anymore, and I have just been spending the last hour, apparently, um, making mahogany logs. I am not quite sure what's happening. It is half past two in the morning, uh, and I have been just doing this mindlessly. Um, but yeah, I'm getting, I wanted to do this because it's a uh, one-time thing. Also, I've decided, I decided that I would do it here instead of using the teleports because I don't like being in PvP worlds, I like especially uh, doing this, like, because you have your whole cash deck on you. And I'm very spooked that I'm going to misclick and get, like, rushed and lose all my money. And it feels like this is not much slower, if, like, at all slower. And it's probably cheaper as well, to be honest, because I only spend the 5 GP per to unnote them rather than the 2 lore runes per trip. But yeah, this should be about 4.8k uh, planks. 4.9k. Uh, I think I started with like a 16.5 mil cash deck, so uh, ooh, prof profit. Nice. Okay, so I decided since, you know, it's like the whole 3 a.m. thing, I thought I would give the will the ultra a go. I have been in two worlds and seen three PKs, so let's see. Are we going to have much luck in the third attempt? Oh my god, I thought, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, I think, I think, I think we are good. Jesus. Also, Hydro Wind's so, so good XP. Look at this. Alright, uh, I've been trying out some Blast Mine. I quite like it, to be honest. It's pretty cool, but if I collect all of this, 40k, that's pretty sick. Uh, yeah, I got, I should, yeah, there we go. 82 mining. Nice. Uh, I'm trying to get to 92 for Amethyst, because I'm ever hopeful that one day I will get uh, a Twisted Bow. So, I kind of want to have them, but it's going to be a long grind. Yeah, as you may have gathered, I was only really wanting to boost for the uh, cooking one, and the reason for that is because the other two are skills that I want to train anyway, or, well, not really runecrafting, but smithing. I want to get the level up anyway, but I feel like while I'm doing this, I'm going to create myself a super combat, just get another one out of the way. I don't think I'm going to... Oh, I'm on the spell book. You know, I'll go do that one as well, uh, and then it's just get my smithing up and hope for the runecrafting boost. And with that, that is all my gold, mithril, and runite are used. I gained 176k uh, smithing XP, which is not too bad. Uh, but sadly, it's not enough to get me a level. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna... 
I don't want to buy ore. Uh, so I'm probably going to do Zolcano to get my smithing XP. Well, it depends on how on how desperate I want to get the level. But yeah, I've got plenty of AFKing to do, making myself some darts with these. Uh, at the time this clip was recorded, this was the day of release of the new altar, the le or the new lectern even, that lets you ha make any uh, lectern from it. So yeah, I bought all the stuff I needed. It was pretty expensive, but yeah, it's nice to have and... Uh, it's nice to not need two lectern rooms in my building anymore. Just using some of the heads from my bank to uh, clear it out a little bit. And after this kill, I should be getting 85 prayer, which is a pretty nice level to see. I can make a... a, a, a yeah. And there is 84 construction. I've already used up all of my oak planks and I can't make out myself another table, so I guess we're moving on to teaks. 85 construction. I don't like myth capes as much as regular construction. Alright, since I've hit 85 construction now, I'm the crystal saws plus 3 boost away from being able to make master stash units. So I'm going to take the plunge and buy all of the stuff from the stonemason that I need for that, which is probably going to be very expensive. And that is every gold leaf that I need. As you can see, spent a little bit of money. First stash unit that I'm going to build is this one down at the Barrows, which needs a full set. Uh, obviously, I'm going to put Torags in there because Arams is actually kind of useful, so I'm not going to put my Arams in there. Let's see, can we get something from the chest while doing this? Ah, uh, of course not. And this is the next one I can build up in the top of the watchtower. Uh, it's going to be sad to no longer have the dragon chain in my bank. I have quite liked having it there, but this is where it needs to be from now on. And this is my second shoulder parrot, I think, uh, which is, I mean, it's kind of cool, but I don't need a second one, but I do like the shoulder parrot. I've already got one in my chest at, at the house, so I'm going to, I'm going to find a place that this can go in my bank and it's going to, it's going to live there because I like it. Oh, and some mole slippers as well. This is what, three clues later? Yeah, uh, <laughs> these make your feet look so long. What the hell? This might be the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Taking a quick break from uh, beginner clues, I decided, you know what, I feel like I'm going to go kill some Chaos Elemental, because I kind of really want uh, the Dragon, dragon Pickaxe, uh, but I don't like the other Wilderness bosses. They, I feel like I get PK'd so often there. Uh, the two kills that I've got just now... Uh, I was doing a safe spotting method, but I used a lot of food just getting it into position because I needed to run it for quite a while. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try flinching it. And before now, whenever I've thought of flinching, I've always got the barrel chest anchor out because it has 92 crush and 100 strength. Uh, but the Darux axe actually has 103 slash and 105 strength. So the Darux axe is better. And since... Uh, the Chaos Alley doesn't have any particular defense uh, weakness. I think the Darox Axe will be better, because I'm flinching, so attack speed doesn't matter, but I think they have the atta same attack speed anyway. So yeah, I'm going to um, figure out what stuff I can take with me that will give me the best bonuses. Probably just going to be three iteming. And yeah, heading over to Chaos Alley, which is going to be amusing. I'm going to be smacking Chaos Alley with a Darox Axe. How often do you see this? Alright, I'm giving up with this for the moment. Uh, I take far too much damage trying to put Chaos Alley in the safe spot. I don't know if there's another one that I can do, but in the one that I know, I take too much damage. It takes years to kill them flinching, and I don't like the other worldly bosses. So maybe if I get the Claw, uh, the Hydra Claw, one day I'll grind out some KBD, because I actually quite like KBD, uh, because I suppose they're not quite a worldly boss. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm just going to have to live with the rune pickaxe for the moment. Oh, and uh, the reason that I decided I wanted to try and get the uh, D-pick is because I want to go back to Zolcano, because I want to bank some smithing XP. Alright, so I grabbed myself 8 uh, boosts, and didn't get anything higher than plus uh, than minus 3, even. Uh, but I just got a plus 4, which means I can make myself some rune dart tips. Uh, sadly, I didn't get the plus five to make the uh, thingy magic, the rune. What are they called? Limbs. Uh, but that's all right. 
I can't complete the RD diary yet anyway, but after doing that, let's just check this. 320 GP, pog. But yeah, uh, I'm now one step away from completing the Varrock diary, which I can do. I need to grab myself some more uh, spicy stews and head over there. Ooh, heck, did I actually get the boost? Oh, no, I may not have done. But yeah, uh, one more requirement to do, and then once I've done that, I can sell my... Uh, my thingamajig, my prospector jacket, put the Varrock armor there, and I'll have a bit more fun to figure out how I'm going to organize this, because there's no point having both of them. Alright, so on my... No, it went down. <laughs> Shit, I thought I could make it. Never mind. I, I had one more boost, but I just got a minus five, so I thought, hey, fuck, I have a plus five smithing. I wonder if I can make it. No, I can't. Probably could have made it if I noticed quicker, but oh well. Let's uh, get more stews. I love I love spicy stews. Alright, still going for... Ooh, I just got that in time. Still going for the runecrafting boost, but I just managed to get the, uh, the smithing one uh, again. So yeah, nice. Uh, let's do the rest of the things that I need for this. I think I have a sinew somewhere in my bank. Well, I must do. I had it before. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's go complete this. I don't know where to go. Cool, that is a rune crossbow made, uh, which I think means... Oh no, I've got loads to do for the audio. <laughs> I thought it was just agility, never mind. Ignore me.